What's cracking, Teeliax? It's Kevin here with the G Free Show, and today I wanted to do a uh, little taste test on the Indie Candies. They sent me a few of them here, but what I wanted to talk about first is how they actually label these things. Okay, so they put gluten-free, nut-free, dairy-free, um, but the thing that really just kind of caught my eye is how they do Big 8 allergen-free. So Big 8 allergen-free, what they're talking about is the top 8 allergens that the FDA makes sure to put on packaging. So that would be the uh, what wheat, milk, eggs, soy, peanuts, tree nuts, fish, and shellfish. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so I think that's really cool that they actually just put Big 8 allergen free. That just makes it a lot easier on most people because they're like, oh, well, it contains this, you know. So you just know that, you know, the things that you look out for, it doesn't have any of that. So I thought that was really cool. But um, so first I wanted to try out the wild cherry gummies that they sent. Um, so then these just organic tapioca syrup, cane sugar, kosher gelatin, citric acid, natural color, flavor, canola, or canola oil, beeswax, and cornstarch, which I thought was pretty cool. But their facility is free of, you know, the uh, the wheat, dairy, tree nuts, peanuts, um, shellfish, soy eggs. So I just think that's really cool that they just make sure that, that everyone knows that, you know, they're doing this all natural, all free of the major allergens. So this animal is, it looks like a bison or something. Well, it tastes really good. Now these are little candies that I can get down with. Oh yeah, just to taste of these things, I just want to snack on the whole thing right through. And, well, maybe will here. It looks like an elephant. Yeah, it's got to be an elephant looking at the feet. I don't know if a lot of you guys used to eat, like, animal crackers, that kind of thing. Um... I just never really got into that. I always thought animal crackers were really weird and just tasted kind of funny. Now this one, this is the uh, the big old dark chocolate teddy bear. I was just going to take a quick bite out of it because there's also this mango sucker here. Uh, this mango sucker is, is a just another bear, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, well, it is. So, all right, well, this dark chocolate one, I don't know if this is like a, just a chocolate bar or if this is like, oh. I guess I dive into things head first, that's just my thing, but uh, no, this is actually really good dark chocolate. Normally I haven't been that big of a fan of dark chocolate, but this is just really good. Um, just has that rich flavor without being like too overwhelming kind of thing, which I find pretty interesting and just awesome. This is good. This is something that I would like to have during Easter time. Uh, during Easter I never really get that much candy. Um, for the most part, my mom just doesn't know what to get and doesn't really do the whole Easter candy kind of thing. Let's get back to the indie candy, you know, what's important on the episode here. So, yeah, I feel like Larry David with the packaging. I don't know if you guys are Curb Your Enthusiasm fans, but I'm just all over the place tonight. It's just crazy. I gotta get that dark chocolate taste out of my mouth. Not really a sucker person normally, and especially a sucker that's that long, I'm not gonna just throw the whole thing in my mouth and I don't really feel like getting my lips sticky, so it's kind of awkward, but you know, it's just a cool little decorative sucker, whatever. That's what I do with hard candy like this, it's just kind of awkward. I just might as well bite into it and you know, enjoy it on its own. But this has a really good flavor to it. You know, normally mango's just kind of so slow for me. Like, I like fresh mango, but most mango-flavored things, I just, they don't really appeal to me, but this is really good. You know, I just kind of wanted to give a quick shout-out to Indie Candy. Um, I just, you know, sent them a message on Twitter saying, you know, how do I get a hold of your products because I never see them around here. And uh, so, yeah, go ahead and follow them on Twitter if you'd like. Um, it's just at IndieCandy1. Um, and then you can also find them on Facebook. I'll just probably post a link underneath as well. But, uh, you know, they're really good about the whole Twitter thing. They got back to me in no time. They were just like, you know, email us with your address, or I think I just sent the address right in the Twitter message. But, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much everything for today. I really enjoyed this. Um, as far as the wild cherry candies, I, these gummies are awesome. I thought these were amazing. Um, the dark chocolate bear, this is really good. Um, surprising, because I didn't actually think that I was going to like it a whole lot. Usually dark chocolate, just, you know, it's so-so, but 
no this was actually really good you know rich without being too overwhelming like i said um so that was awesome and then um as far as the mango which i'm still kind of enjoying just having the side um that was surprisingly good as well um you know when i received the package and i looked at them i'm like well i hope i sorry i hope i you know i'm able to give a good review on this just because i feel bad giving a bad review but i owe it to you guys to always be honest in every review that i give so i don't know if you guys have seen like the spitting out the flag set or flag snacks um episode where i just hated both of them and i just you know did not want to first i didn't want to you know put out the review but then i was like well this is actually kind of funny and i even use a clip out or clip of it for my current intro so i thought that was kind of funny as well but um yeah i'm always going to be upfront and honest with you guys when i'm doing all these just because i owe it to you you know because you're actually spending the time watching my videos and if I'm doing these taste tests, you should know what I think about them. You know, just freely honest. Um, you know, I try to be completely transparent when I'm talking about these things. So, uh, yeah, that's really everything for today. So, you guys have a good one, and I'll uh, see you on the next episode, which is all about the uh, Bard's beer. So, I'll be doing a taste test again. You know, and sometimes I get into a little run where I'm doing some taste tests, but, uh, you know, sometimes gluten-free isn't in the media quite as much as I'd like it to be, or, you know, at least the things that really matter to me that I think I should talk about. Um, so that's really everything for today, but, uh, you guys take it easy and I'll see you later.